Hello, and welcome to the Thai Center video series on including students with significant cognitive disabilities in school-wide positive behavioral interventions and support, PBIS. I'm Dr. Lindsay Iono Conradi from the University of Hawaii. In this video, we share an example of how a general education teacher uses the Good Behavior Game, a tier one intervention, in her inclusive classroom for students with and without significant cognitive disabilities. The image on this slide depicts a group of students with and without disabilities together in a school hallway, smiling at the camera. I've been a teacher for over 16 years now and I'm currently teaching first grade in a public elementary school located in the Mountain West region. Our school is an inclusive school for students with and without cognitive disabilities. When I implemented the good behavior game, I had one student with significant cognitive disabilities in my first grade classroom. I was excited to have him and so were his classmates. However, I struggled to know how to make him feel like he was a part of the class. He didn't talk with the other students and they weren't sure how to interact with him. His interactions were minimal. Most of his supplies were ignored or used inappropriately. And he also made disruptive noises and didn't independently participate in our classroom activities. It was suggested that we play the good behavior game and I was trained on implementing it. When I first learned about what it was, I was skeptical that it would make a difference because it sounded way too simple and similar to what I was already doing. I didn't see the difference between it and my classroom point system of frowns and smiley faces. I also worried that it would disrupt the flow in my classroom and make us waste time choosing names for teams and having an immediate reward every day. However, when we started playing the game, the engagement of all my students went way up during the 15 minutes we played the game. Letting the students name their teams and having a quick prize at the end was motivating and didn't create a burden on our classroom time. The process was quick and only added to the engagement for the rest of the day. I saw a difference in the behavior of my student with significant cognitive disability and the interactions he was having with me and with his peers almost immediately. It made him a part of the class because he was on a team. His teammates started helping him know what to do and how to follow the behavior expectations in kind ways without me ever asking them to. He started participating in lessons even when the content was challenging for him. He started using the classroom materials appropriately. He picked up on the classroom expectations without negative comments from me. All interactions increased between him and his peers and he finally was starting to feel included. The game supported the classroom management system I already had in place. I love that the game starts by reviewing our classroom expectations. Since we reviewed our day rules daily anyway, the game made the review more exciting. I found that when we played, it helped to remind me to focus on looking for students following my expectations and not to focus on the ones that weren't. My rate of positive feedback increased and became more specific. More students were being acknowledged for their good behavior. Students knew exactly how to be successful since the game focuses on teaching the expectations. There was no mystery surrounding how you could win. The year I learned the game, I had a couple of students that struggled to follow the behavior expectations. These students were especially impacted by the game. They benefited from the continual flow of positive feedback that they received individually and as a team. They loved it when they got a turn to name their team or when they got to be recognized for earning a point for their team. These students benefited by the immediacy of the prize at the end of the time period. The very things that I thought would be so insignificant in the game made a huge difference in their motivation. I found that the good behavior game was an effective, easy strategy that helped my classroom to be more inclusive and positive. 